Chris Ward has made a brand new version of the Bel Canto and it's, oh, it is the most beautiful and I'll never be able to own one. Let's talk about it. But first, I'm not a watch expert, I'm just a watch nerd. So if you have anything to say, anything to add, anything to criticize me for, comment down below and we can chat. Chris Ward, oh, I love you, Chris Ward. You make some amazing watches and the Bel Canto is your creme de la creme. Your piece de resistance, so to speak. Bel Canto was originally released quite a while ago in, well, they did a green version and a blue version. Now they have like a black, an ice blue, a cream dial, a purple dial, but you can't get that original old blue. You can't get a green dial. If you're unfamiliar with the Bel Canto, it's essentially the best priced chiming watch it on the market. It's made of grade five titanium. It uses the new FS01 movement and it has the sonnery or passage complication, which means it just chimes once an hour. But getting a chiming watch for what is currently priced at 3,530 pounds is amazing. But the one everyone wants, and I'll be honest, I want. Uh, this is the one I would choose, is the dark blue. And Christopher Ward have bought out and made a new one. I have to say, I saw this article, and my, tickle, my, my pickle was tickled, okay? My tickle was pickled. My, my tickle was pickled. I saw it, I wanted it. At this stage, the Bel Canto is an award-winning watch. It won the Petit Aguil Award at the Grand Prix de Horologie de Genève in 2023. This watch is a big deal. The new version, ho, 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 I'll be honest, all of the changes and additions are completely aesthetic, but we like our watches for their aesthetics. Got the same case, got the same chimichimer. It's not the parts we care about. It's got two big changes and they are my favorites. It is beautiful. It's gone from on the time display, just batons, just plain old batons, to, and this is the best part, Roman numerals. It's got a Roman numeral for 12, for three, for six and nine, so just the four of them. And it adds a little bit of uh, class, je ne sais quoi. What does that even mean? Territory shrugging. It adds a bit of something I don't know. Yeah, it adds a bit of je ne sais quoi, je ne sais pas. Is it pas? I have no idea. I'm just saying sounds at this point. Comment down below what the hell I'm saying. Viva en chabola con mis tres pollos. There we go, I know what that means. Los pollos. Chicken shop and breaking bad, isn't it? Vivo en Chabola con mis tres pollos is I live in a shanty town with three chickens. Three. What's also really cool about this bel canto, and this is also, well actually no, this is my favorite. This is my favoritist part, absolute favoritist, is it has a new engraved dial. Yes, yeah, so the dial is engraved. It's got some sort of guilloche for a gentle dark blue union flag. Union Jack, if you don't know the difference. Union Jack's when it's flown at sea, Union Flag is the flag. But it's got like a Union Flag on the dial and I love it. I really, really love it. It's it's actually a really nicely guilloche pattern. For those additions, it does mean that the price of this one is significantly higher, apparently, um, which is fair enough. This new iteration of the watch with the aesthetic differences is going to be £4,995, so it's about £1,500 more. That's on a blue leather strap with red stitching, so it's like blue and red, Britain. Why is it so Britain themed? Why is the dial got a Union flag on it? Well, I will tell you, it is because this watch is going to be available only March 9th at the Alliance of British Watch and Clockmakers. So yeah, this is going to be a one day event at Lind Lindley Hall in London with over 40 brands attending, many of which will be taking unique watches that you can buy at the show. And it's all about British watchmaking, which if you've seen our video all about the British watch industry, you'll know is going places. Link in the description. Link in the description, probably not, but because I won't remember, but. So how can you get one of these? How can you get one? Go go to the show, enter the watchmaker's raffle. There is a raffle. If you win the raffle, you'll get the opportunity to purchase and take home the Bel Canto, because they're only making 10, and that's sad. So you'll get an opportunity to purchase and take home on the same day if you win the raffle. And that is the only way of getting a Christopher Ward Bel Canto this side of summer. There's no other way of getting a Bel Canto this side of summer. 
yeah, so I love this watch. I think it's just, I understand why they're only making 10 because it's a, it's a cool watch. It's probably very expensive to make. And especially with that guilloche doll. Just look at that doll, Terry. It's bloody gorgeous, isn't it? That's pretty gorgeous. And then that is just gently hidden behind there. Mm. All that stuff. Incredible. That watch would be a wonder to see. What do you think of this watch? Do you think it was worth making a video about? I do. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's lovely. And it excited me. So you, so I, I, uh, I'm telling you guys all about it. If you have anything to add, put it in the comment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you liked it and you want to see more, subscribe, ding that bell icon so you never miss another one. And most of all, do remember, watch yourselves.